Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I am drafting. That's it. Sure, we love to do draft restrictions, things like that. But you know what? Every now and again, I want to just try a draft. See if I'm still decent at it. Watch this be the time I don't make the playoffs. <laughs> I would, that would totally be the case. You can only pick players whose last name starts with a Z. Makes playoffs. Ah, just draft whatever team you want. Take whoever. Last place in the league. I mean, I don't expect to just go and win the Stanley Cup. Obviously, it's not that easy. But I want to try drafting an interesting team as well. I don't want to just go for gold, you know. Take all of the best players all the time. I want to try and get a unique team. That's part of the fun of these drafts. I even just do fantasy drafts 1v1 against my friends sometimes, you know. It's a good time. Honestly, though, I can't wait for NHL 24 to get the Be a Pro going again. I do miss it. I'll be real. Ad will be here before we know it. Okay, what team will we be using for this no restrictions draft? It is the Calgary Flamis. I'm in. Get out of here, Jabroni. And you know what? The owner is not far behind. Don't tell me what to do, okay? I run things around here, and that's the way it's gonna be. Player morale off. CPU trades will be off because it's a fantasy draft. The actual drafting part can take a while depending on the restriction and how much like research I have to do, stuff like that. But today should be extremely quick because I'm just drafting players on my own accord here. Come on, give me a pretty high up pick here. Keep the salary cap on. I'm hoping top 10. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'm trying to think if there's ever been a time I've drafted Matthews. I genuinely don't know if I have. First time for everything, let's give it a go. Let's throw Mark Stone on the wing of Austin Matthews. I think they will pair well together. I am going to take a goalie pretty early here. Let's go with Jakey O. 89 overall, 4 million. You have yourself a deal. Oh, he is center slash left wing. So he will be the first line left winger playing with... This is going to be insane. We are winning the Stanley Cup. I take it back. He is only 86 overall, but he's got four abilities. Well, I guess three abilities and an X factor. I don't really know what the correct terminology is for that because some people don't really pay attention to the gold. They would just say like four abilities. But anyway... Yeah, I should probably get some defense going here. Who are some defenders that I never really draft? I feel like Truba is a guy I never take, and that is likely because he's making 8 million. But we'll just make the rest of the draft work around him. Oh my word. 84 overall at 1.1. Siegenthaler is joining the squadron. He will be on that first defensive pair. Probably have taken him before. But, you know, he's not like a reoccurring player, I wouldn't say. I also wouldn't say that Burt is a player I grab often. Now a Toronto Maple Leaf. He's got three abilities. Okay, I'm not going to complain. Hopefully we'll get some sick chemistry on the second line as well. Backstrom. I can't do 9.2. I just can't. I would love to, but I'm going to go with Gord to be the second line center. He's got abilities. That's pretty much what I was looking for. I want to see if we can try to get some sick chemistry on line numero dos. So, Yanni Gord is our next selection. There isn't really a lot of defensemen that I don't take, but Shillington is one that I feel I haven't drafted in forever. So, boom. Jake Wallman. He wears number 96. That is a cool jersey number. It's only making one million. Welcome to the squad. Let's go with Scott Mayfield. I never draft him, right? I'm joking. I do draft him. Quite a bit. So I am going to take Clifton instead, who I also feel like has been taken by me in the past, but not a reoccurring guest once again. So relatively new customer here. I think we might have a tough time in the uniqueness factor with the depth picks because there's only really so much you can do. Like I'll try, don't get me wrong. Who's a goalie that I pretty much never take? Obviously, for the most part, there could be some one-offs here. Chalgrin is definitely someone I have taken multiple times in the past. Um, E2. Nope, not going to give it a shot, but I will draft you. So by the looks of it, I just need to finish up the third line, get our fourth line going, and the boys are ready to cook. Pierre Engvall? Yeah, I don't see why not. Matthew Joseph? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. We definitely have some cap to work with here as well. 
So there's some players that I could have taken and didn't. I was going to draft Blake Wheeler. I was going to draft Nick Backstrom. But you never know. Because we have all this cap space, however, let's go with James Van Riemsdyk. Making 7 million. Yup. Warren Fogle. Power forward. 2.7 on the team. Next to tee up is Gilmore Happy and Lafferty Daniel. We're gonna have too many left wingers and that's fine. Let's go with Harvey Pinard. And with my final selection and 6.5 million dollars remaining, I will be taking 91 face-offs Jordan Stull. We're winning the cup. I actually do not fully believe that but I'm trying to convince myself that we have an extremely solid team here. It is good. I hope the chemistry's there, though. Let's see what we've got. Edit lines. Please be good. How? How is this second line zero? Somebody please riddle me that. I did not draft you. Get out of here. Scratch players. Harvey Pinard. If I move Giroux up, it becomes a plus five. I'm not gonna do that. Might do that. No, I can't. We'll leave the plus three. These guys with a zero still trying to figure that out actually Tarasenko is a sniper I don't want two snipers on that first line oh you're supposed to be up here aha there we go all right that looks a little bit better so we are rocking the plus five and then we got a plus one here extremely solid bottom six and get the job done got a sniper on the fourth line some surprise goals, our oh, ice time allocations, roll four lines, so maybe we will get some depth goal scoring. Our defenders don't have any abilities, but they do have half-decent chemistry. There's no dashes, only plus. That's a massive dub. Wait a minute. Oh no, I did. I completely doubted myself about taking a backup goalie, and now I remember we got E2, so that's good. Thought I just completely missed out on a second netminder. All right, Calgary, let's do this thing. Please do well, because there was no restrictions, so I don't have any excuse. This is just straight up me drafting a team. And again, how I like to draft a team is to try and take some players that I don't typically take. I think my logic for that is that when I'm doing drafts that have restrictions, my hands are kind of tied in some instances and I have to take players over and over again because I want to be competitive. There's no point of drafting a team I know is going to be a stinker unless that's the point of the video. So when I do a draft where I am able to have a little bit of freedom, I like to, you know, try to branch off a little bit, see how other players do. Not going to lie, I was really worried for a second there because we were losing a lot of games. It was not looking pretty. But we are certainly spinning the wheels now. Our division looks pretty competitive. We are fourth right now with... I think an extremely good record at the moment. So I feel like this is going to be one of those sims where a team that finished like 30th is going to be in the playoffs. All right, here we go. Can we get to 38? No, we cannot. We are at 37 wins. You know what? No, I'm not going to go to the trade deadline. We're simming right past. Now we are first in the division by not a lot, but definitely a bit of a cushion there. We do need some more wins because I want that President's Trophy. We're at 48 at the moment. Three games remaining. We're getting 50. Yes! Can we get 51? No, we cannot. But we still won the division with 50 wins and 105 points. The Calgary Flames find themselves atop the Pacific Division. LA was right there with 100. Let's check out the entire league. I thought we had a chance. I'll be real. But Buffalo comes in with 55 dubs. Who do you got? Jack Quinn playing with Malkin and Pasta. They double down on goalies getting Katahat and Marc-Andre Fleury. John Carlson playing with York. Barzell Howell and... R what? Anyway, let's see what Pittsburgh has. Eichel, Connor, and Tuck. Yeah. Comtois, Wallstrom, and Bailey. Mackenzie, Blackwood, and Nett. Sure. Moment of truth, because the first 15 teams made it. So will it be 16, or is there going to be something outrageous? Oh, wow. All right. So I was wrong. It was the top 16 teams that qualified. Love that. Chicago finished last. They had Kirill the Thrill playing with Natchez and Garland. They had Kachekov and Net, Chikrin and... Wow. 
they went all in on defense. Well, I shouldn't say all in, but it's a very solid defensive core. Their second line with Glass, McCann, yeah. All right. Matthews had 91 points, 39 goals. Stone had 75 with 56 hamburger helpers. Giroux actually had 29 goals and Tarasenko had 32, which for a second liner, proud of you. Jake O did very well, had a 913 save percentage, a two dot nice GAA, three shutouts. And honestly, you did all right, E2. Maki Niemi, I don't know. That was a valiant effort. Please be nice. Hart led the league. He had 71 games played. So Marc-Andre Fleury just rode pine the whole year is what I'm understanding right here. 917 save percentage and Jake is right there. Yes. Quinn Hughes is your defensive leader. 73 points, 90 overall. Carlson had 71. Kale McCarr down to 68. Game's unrealistic. And the Art Ross winner, and probably the Hart winner, is Eichel. It looks like the Rocket Richard is going to go to Pasta. So once again, we're just pre-scouting trophies here. Alex Tuck with 94 points. It's always cool to see new names up here. So I'm in. Matthews is on the front page. 91 points. I feel like we typically, at least in recent drafts, haven't had anybody with a lot of points. So to see one of our players on the front page here is great. The Seattle Kraken, our first round victim. Let's see what they drafted. Boom. We've got Robertson playing with Hurdle and Kessel on the first line. I almost want to just throw this series. Their second line consists of Holtz, Erickson, Eck, and Mangiapane. Why do you have Barbashev? How does this team make the playoffs? How? If we lose, there's going to be all kinds of problems, okay? 5-1 loss to that team with our roster, okay? Don't you dare. Not going to lie, a little bit worried. Only for a minute. The mightiest Ducks from Anaheim have Rory playing with Horvat and Cooch. You did well there. Jonathan Taves is on the right wing of JT Miller and Kalorn. Taylor Hall on the third line. Defensively, they got Maury playing with Chernak, Fowler, and Mayfield. Okay, so they're solid. Two good goalies. The old Arizona duo, I believe. We pretty much just have to watch out for Cooch. So... Let's start the sim. No way there's a sweep. Unless it's in our favor. So I'm going the first four games. Nice. We are doing very well. And we delete them. We are moving on to the conference finals against the St. Louis Blues. I'm trying to remember who they had on their team. Oh, it was Quinn Hughes. So they have a great defenseman. But who else is on this roster? Turbo. Bergey. And Konechny. Their offense is not great. Foligno on the second line is bold. Playing with Reinhardt and Sprong. They got Velarde here. Third line center. Defensively? Okay. So they kind of went all in on defense, it seems like. Hughes and Manson, Pellick, Matheson, and then Alexiak playing with Shea. Oh. That explains a lot. They've got 91 overall Hellebuck. Backed up by the man they met, the legend. Not David Krejci. The other one. Let's take these guys down. Boom. No, not boom. We were doing well, and then we weren't. And by we're doing well, I mean the first game. Literally only one game, and it was a complete deletion fest beyond that. Um, so if we could pick it up here, that'd be fire. I'll take depth goal scoring. I'll take whatever goal scoring we can get. We're getting incredibly outshot at the moment there we go Tarasenko scores we could bring this whole series back I believe in you guys Tarasenko gets another one he has been an animal how about that a natural hat trick you certified beautician okay it's just an absolute goal fest we are simming this game because it got ugly quick 9-3. There's your three stars of the game. We still have to win two more in a row. 
in order to move on to the Stanley Cup final. It's not going to be easy, but I do believe in the lads. The other two series that we've been in so far, we never really had our back against the wall, haven't faced adversity, but early on in the season we did. So we've had some experience. I just hit my controller off the chair. Anyway, let's go Matthews. 2 nothing. Being outshot insanely again. Okay, we brought it back there. In a matter of seconds, it seems like. I guess we are skipping a minute at a time, so that checks out. We are now out shooting them. Are we gonna do this? Are we pushing a game seven? I think we are. Matthew Joseph, power play goal. No, I won't sim the whole period. I was gonna just skip sim it. We'll play it live. We'll see what goes on here. A couple power plays for the Flames and the Blues get one. They cannot capitalize. Maybe Bucky is shook from getting lit up like a Christmas tree last game. And it all comes down to this. Game 7 of the Conference Finals. After being down in the Series 3-1, we managed to claw our way back to one game takes all. Back-to-back -back power plays for the Blues and we kill it off. The shots aren't insane this time. We're keeping up with them, but Turbo... Does break the ice right before the second period. That is a killer. We got to get it back quick here. Come on, Calgary. Let's go! Claude on the PP. Barry's one past Hellebuck. It is a tie game halfway through this thing. Come on, lads. Power play again. Power play again. A l the longest power play of all time. Let's go, Tarasenko. Whoever got that penalty, fired. Or traded. One of the two. I guess you can't really, like, fire a player, can you? You just like bench them or something. Velarde scores on Jakey O and makes it a 2-2 game in the third period. We are in one. Less than 10 minutes to go. Oh no. Please don't go to overtime. I don't know if I can handle it. Come on. Okay. All right. Stay calm. Stay calm. No! Pelic. Okay, well, GG. There's your three stars. Bucky must have heard me. And he stood on his head. 931 save percentage. I'll tip my cap to you. I'm not gonna lie, I really thought we did have that. And the Blues go on to win the Stanley Cup. I mean, we already looked at the roster, so... We don't gotta go doing all that again. Matthews and Bertuzzi both had 22 points. And we got 21 from Claude... 18 from Tara Sancho. Stone and Gord split at 17. Even 14. From JVR is really good in 18 games, considering he was on the fourth line. Now that I think about it, 25 shooting percentage here for Gord and Stahl. Patrice, 38 points, was 9 up on Konechny, who was the next closest. That is insane. A thousand percent winning the con Smythe. I have never been so sure of something in my entire life. Matthews is up there, kind of. Same with Bertuzzi. Quinn Hughes had another great run. I feel like this is the only reason we lost that series. Hellebuck, he ended up with a 920 save percentage. Only one shutout, but he really stole that last game. Askarov had a 923 at 81 overall. Good on ya. Stewie with an 85 overall, 914. Oh, I didn't see that. Jake Ottinger had a sub 900 save percentage, so he was... A ghost in the playoffs. The team awards we are all too familiar with. Individual trophies. The Art Heart combo, as I said. Carlson gets the Norris. Kyle Connor with the Lady Bing. Veneers gets the Calder. There you go. Saros with the Vesna. Katahat gets the Jennings. Luke Shen, the Intimidator, takes home the Bill Masterton. boy, Luke. Turnbull gets the Jack Adams. Barkov with the Selkie. The Ted Lindsay goes to Eichel. And the Rocket Richard with 54 goals, I think it was. Maybe 55. Pasta. Well, there you go. There's your playoff tree. I just drafted a team just for fun. Because, you know, the restrictions are cool and all. But from time to time, you know, it's cool to just draft a team. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Looking forward to NHL 24 once again. Want to get that Be A Pro going and... I don't know, I just want to include some kind of mechanic to make it our own. I don't know what that mechanic will be, but I'm gonna try to think of one. If you could leave a like, that would be fire. I will see you soon.